Hey everybody, it's Maria, and it's a beautiful day outside, mid-October, so I thought I would uh, do this video outside, and, um, and I tell you what, I am so excited about this guitar, as you can see it's a guitar, not a ukulele, uh, because the really nice people at Kamis, Kamis, I still don't quite know, so if somebody knows for sure how to say their name correctly, I would appreciate it. I can't find any literature to figure it out, I, I guess I should ask the woman next time I have a conversation with her, I should do that. Anyway, uh, they're very lovely and they were very happy with my tenor uh, guitar video that I did that they uh, have sent me another instrument and this is an actual guitar and it's a 38 inch, they call it a beginner guitar, but I have to tell you, I haven't been able to put it down. It is so comfortable to play and so much fun and sounds and feels great that what I'm gonna do is I'm going to talk about it before I even get to all the goodies that you get because I'm just bursting with excitement for you to see this. So you do get a great little bag here that's backpack, I'll just say that. And maybe we'll get to the bag later, but it's a bag. It's not the thickest bag I've ever had, but it's not the thinnest either. And it has a really nice pouch. You could see it's bursting and that's with all the goodies. But I haven't taken any out except for the tuner and I will have to tune it up because I played it, I guess, yesterday or the day before. And, um, you know, obviously these, these strings are new and they will take time to stretch. However, it's staying in tune quite easily. And the last time I checked, it wasn't even that bad. So let's get to it right away. Let me just give you some specifications. So this is a 38 inch, um, I don't want to say it's a travel guitar because it's kind of large, but it's not a full-size guitar. Um, I believe full-size guitars are 41 inches. I could be mistaken, but this is 38 inches, so it's a little smaller. I feel it's really comfortable for me. I'm not a very big person, but um, I found it very comfortable. It's all laminate because at the price point, which is crazy, it's like a little over $100. That's insane. Um, on Amazon, uh, you're getting laminate but laminate is durable and you know it takes the different temperatures um it takes it a little better the wood doesn't react as a crazy and you know in solid instruments it could act they can actually crack i've had instruments where the top could crack if it wasn't uh, humidified properly or if there was extremes in temperature so with a laminate instrument it's going to be a lot more durable so that's one thing to consider um also by the way i started guitar when i was 15 and I have to tell you, I wish I could have gotten an instrument that was this easy to play. I probably would have gotten a lot better sooner because the instrument that I learned on, which was a name brand, I won't say what, the action was this high off the fretboard. And I still actually have the one my parents gave me for my 18th birthday, and I just love it because it was a gift from almost ugh, 40 years ago. But um, I t this, is, this, this costs a lot less than that one, let's put it that way and think about the time, you know, what it would be now. And also, it's a dream to play. So, okay, back to the specifications. It's got the whole mahogany top, sides, back. It's got a little binding, which is nice, it's black binding. It's got your um, strap buttons installed, so you don't have to pay for them. And by the way, they do cost some money because I've had plenty of strap buttons put on. And, um, it's got the nice tuners, closed gear tuners, okay? It's got a Okame neck, and it's got a walnut fingerboard, which I quite like. I like the walnut fingerboard. Um, it's got a truss rod, so it, and they give you the Allen wrench, so if you had to have it, the action, or the, you know, if the neck was slightly, you know, needed to be adjusted, but I wouldn't do that myself. I would take that to a luthier or a guitar person. Again, that's for a setup. It just didn't even need a setup. I mean, <laughs> the action's perfect. Also, the intonation is fantastic. And the intonation is if you, where you press the string, when you pluck a string, and the note that it sounds, if it sound, if it goes along the fretboard in the correct increments without being too sharp or too flat within a certain vari variation, I mean, there could be a little variable rather, um, but not much, and not that you would, your ear could discern it. And I've had instruments where you start to go up the fretboard, you, you can't even do finger style because as soon as you press the frets, 
the notes are out of tune. And if you're a young, you know, not young, even if you're an old person, if you're a new guitar student, that is a terrible thing to happen, as is having high action, because it will make you feel like you can't do it. So number one, this is great because the action's low, and by action, I mean how high the strings are off the fretboard. And when I said my old guitar was way high, it was really hard to press these upper strings down. Um, but this one isn't. All the ways from the first fret, you know, to the 12th, which is here, then your octave repeats again, okay? But you have all these frets that are very easy to play. Um, they're they're hand-polished, I think silver nickel, I believe they said, frets, okay? But the specifications are on Amazon if you want to check it out, in case I didn't say something correctly. Oh, by the way, this little binding here has, uh, it's like a triple binding of white and four of the black, so it's kind of a cool. I'll get a little closer so you can see it. I don't know if I'm in the frame. Let's see. Uh, too close. <laughs> there you go. You see? There's the binding. Oh, it's got a bone a saddle, a bridge, a bone saddle, rather, and a bone nut. Okay, and it's a wood, I believe walnut, bridge. It looks like walnut. They didn't say what it is, as I recall, but I believe it's, it's walnut. Okay. And uh, I don't think that's about it, about the specifications of this guitar. It's been very easy to tune. I think I mentioned that. Okay, it's not acoustic electric. It's just acoustic, which is fine, and it's got a lot of volume. So um, before I even get to the rest of the stuff they give you, which again is worth its weight, it's like half the price you're paying is accessories if you think about it, if you had to buy these things separately, but they give them to you. And we'll go over that in, in a moment. So let me just let you hear how it sounds. Um, let me just tune it because that's important. Okay, so now it's all tuned up, and, and this is what I want to, your ear will let you hear this, by the way. So this is the first string, is an E, and if I play again at the 12th fret, it should just be an octave higher, and it is. Okay, E, E, A, A, D, D, G, G, B, B, E, E. Okay, so it's, it's intonated very well. Okay, so let me demonstrate what it sounds like. I'll do some picking, some strumming, and uh, maybe I'll play a, a song. So let's do some picking first. I'll do some picking with the pick. sustain um, I'll do a little finger picking so
Okay, so I think this is a great instrument. I mean, I'm hoping to hold up. It looks like it, why wouldn't it? Doesn't give me any reason. Kamais has been an excellent company for ukulele, so I can't imagine why their guitars wouldn't be just as durable. So I have high hopes for this instrument. I think it's, um, I think it's a great instrument, not just to learn on, but any, for anybody. You know, so you could just take it because it's so inexpensive, you don't have to worry so much. So it's a great instrument to travel with. Throw it in the back of your car. I wouldn't leave it in the car, but uh, I would definitely take it places, you know. So thank you so much, and I'm going to let you see what's in that goodie bag now. There's my doggie. She likes to be outside. She, does, she looks like she's caught on the thing, but she's just choosing to stay there. <laughs> I don't know why. But she's 18 years and five months, so she could do what she wants, right? Come on, come on, come on, come on over here. Come on over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. I got a director. Okay, come on, go on the grass. You wanna go on the grass? Okay, so let's look at this goodie bag. All right. There's a lot of stuff in here. All right. I showed you the tuner. I didn't show it to you, but I used it. So it's a little tuner, which is great to have. Comes with the battery. You don't have to worry about buying a battery. It's a lithium, so it should last a while. Comes with a really nice black and white strap. Doesn't look too thick. I don't like when the strap's too thick, so that looks pretty decent. Okay, with a little bit of padding. There's a Oh, actually, <laughs> that must have been a tuner I had. Oops, that was a different person's tuner, but that's okay. It comes with a tuner. This is Jojo, it says on it. I think they're all about the same. Okay. <laughs> and, oh yeah, this is interesting. I'll leave that for after. It comes with an extra set of strings, light gauge, which is good. They're easier on the fingers. Okay. It comes with the Allen wrench I was telling you about in case you need to um, adjust the truss rod. It comes with a few picks. I have, there's a hole in the bag, so perhaps, I think it's three picks they usually give. I'll have to look in the, um, the bag itself, in the pocket, see if I'm missing anything. And these are two interesting things I've never gotten uh, with any ukulele or guitar, so this is kind of cool. This is actually whoop, to strengthen your hands. And I have to tell you, it's a pretty good device. I remember when I was little, my brother had one and he used to practice. You switch it, your pinky goes here and you could strengthen your hand. That's it, the thumb goes over here and you put each digit on each finger, that makes sense. And actually, ooh, that's tough. And this is what's used for physical therapy. This is what I was uh, given to use when I had my different hand um, surgeries, which I've had too. And so this is actually really a good device. So you stick it where the thumb is here and each digit goes on there and you just press it. You know, not too crazy, but just a little bit, a couple times a day maybe, a couple of repetitions. So that's a very unique thing to get with this uh, guitar, very cool. And this is equally different. Um, it's a plastic wall hanger. Um, I've seen wooden ones, and this has got some spongy material. Um, I guess I guess it would be sturdy. It's not a very heavy guitar. Uh, it comes with the um, mollies, I guess they're called. Is that what they're called? For the wall, you know, to expand into. Um, oh, my dad would be so mad at me. If I can't remember. Sorry, dad. Uh, what is the wall stuff made of? You know, the fake wall stuff? Sheetrock. This is so that the nail has something to hook onto in the sheetrock. And then you put it in the wall, on the wall. Okay, and this goes in there. I don't want to put it, push it in because it's not, you know, going on a wall right now. But the premise is then the guitar. I don't know. It's supposed to... I'll have to look. There are instructions, I think. Yeah. So there's instructions on how to keep it so the guitar, I don't know if something pulls out, I'll have to read it. It's supposed to hold the guitar. I'm not sure that I'm going to use that. But it's a very sweet thing to include. And maybe, you know, if you know woodworking and you're very com confident 
on the strength and durability of it holding your guitar, you might want to try it. Okay, and then it comes with that gig bag that I told you about. Thanks so much for watching. I'm really excited about this instrument. I have to say I was blown away. I didn't know what to expect for, like I said, a little over $100. I just couldn't even imagine. And it exceeded my expectations. And um, hope you could tell that from the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.